What's up guys, today I'll be showing you how to automatically start and stop recordings of your Beat Saber gameplays using OBS whenever you play a song. This is possible through the mods we are going to download, which are OBS Control and OBS WebSocket. All links I will mention in this video will be in the description and make sure to have Mod Assistant and OBS installed as well as join the Beat Saber modding group discord. Let's go. First, we will quickly open up Mod Assistant to make sure we have the required mods checked in there. There's a tutorial I did on how to install Mod Assistant in the description or click on the upper right side of the screen for the card. Do that if you haven't, but if you have, go to Options, check mark everything, from there go to Mods tab, and under the Library section, you have BS Utils and BeatSaber Markup Language checked and installed. These are pre-checked for you from the start, but we got to make sure they are updated. Now, like many mods that haven't been approved to Mod Assistant, we will go into Discord to look it up. Technically, I have the direct links in the description, but this is a good practice to know where to go in other and or similar situations because other mods aren't in Mod Assistant. Once in the group, go to search bar, click on it, filter type in channel, then type in PC-Mods, followed by OBS Control, set to newest, and click to jump to the post. Click on the link for OBS WebSocket plugin. It will bring you to another page. Drop down and depending on what PC system you're using, you will pick accordingly. Since I have Windows, I have two options, either the Windows Installer EXE file or ZIP file. I would choose the ZIP file as that's easier. Download it onto your desktop, open it, and to the side, assuming you downloaded OBS already, have your OBS Studio installation file folder open as well. If you don't know where you put it, just search it by typing OBS-Studio in your file explorer. Typically it should be in either C Drive Program Files or C Drive Program Files in parentheses x86 but I installed OBS in another drive to save space. Once you have both of them side to side, you are simply transferring the contents to their respective folders as such. Go to bin, select whichever bit you have, open it, go into image formats, and copy the DLL that's within image formats and drop it into the respective folder. Going back into the data folder now, go into OBS-plugins, and then copy the OBS-WebSocket folder, the whole thing, and then drop it into the main folder. Lastly, go into the OBS-Plugins folder, choose your bit again, and then copy the DLL file as well as the PDB file, and just copy it over into the main folder. Going back to Discord, click into the OBS control link, Download and extract the zip file and drop it onto your desktop. We need to drop this OBS control DLL file into our BeatSaber plugins folder. For easy access, open Mod Assistant, Options tab, and open folder. Drop the DLL file into the plugins folder. Now open up OBS, go into the tools, and you should see WebSockets, Server Settings. And if you go into it, you will see your server port and password filled in already. You shouldn't change anything. Before we jump into BeatSaber, let's set up the recording settings on OBS. I'll be brief on this. Go down the scenes to the plus icon. Add a scene and I called mine test. From there, sources and add display capture. Choosing the monitor screen that has BeatSaber on it and make sure that the audio properties are going to the device of where your Beat Saber sounds is. I have my sound coming from my speaker, but I'm sure most of you guys have the sound coming from your headset, so click the right option for it. You can mimic my recording settings on the screen, but depending on how powerful your PC is, it can differ. Pause the video to input the settings, then continue. Now we jump into Beat Saber and see if OBS Control is in the Mod Settings menu. And if so, then you have installed it correctly. You can go in there and change some settings around such as how much of a delay you want, when starting the song, and after it finishes it. 
but before playing it make sure you have OBS open. While having OBS off to the side of my second screen or if you have one screen then minimize it, I will go ahead and play a song which will automatically start recording it and if I fail or finish it will stop and be in my designated folder. This will save you the hassle of lifting your headset to click record on OBS and then putting it back on and later repeating the same step to stop recording. If you are curious as to how I incorporated custom avatars, sabers, and platforms, or how to get the different camera angles in-game, I do have tutorials in my BeatSaber tutorial playlist that covers how to do that, and more, so make sure to check it out. Leave a like and comment down below if you found this video helpful, and if you have questions you can reach me here, my other social links, or ask the BeatSaber modding community on Discord, where I get most of my info from. Thank you for tuning in my Beat Saber Champions and see you on the next video.